my fourth barbecue book, I traveled all the way to Lapland to discover the taste of the north. Together with Rokus, who helped me cooking the recipes, Remco, who made all the kick-ass photos, and Rainier, who filmed the whole trip, we invite you to watch this video and freeze your balls off. We are about three hours into our Transafia flight and we're nearly there. And what's there? Ruka Kusamo. Together with Foy Travel, we selected this place for two reasons. One, there's really great cooking going on there and a local chef, Mati Hurtia, is going to help us with that. And two, there's a boatload of activities to do in this small town that's on the border of Russia and near the Arctic Circle, like snow sled riding, ice fishing, there's some snowmobiles. So yes, we're going to be cooking, but boy are we going to have a lot of fun. We met with Mats Lindfors of the Ruka Kusamo Tourist Association. Together with Foy Travel, they helped us to plan the whole trip out and hooked us up with an awesome ride to get through the snowy roads. Next up, we went to scout the locations to find the best and most epic places where we could make the recipes for the winter barbecue book. On this trip, we're joined by Mati Hurtia, the local chef who's going to cook with us, show us all the taste of Lapland and the techniques of cooking in minus 50 degrees Celsius. After seeing all these places and meeting the local people, we really couldn't wait to start cooking. But the next day it would start a bit different. We woke up with some milk, eggs and a bit of bourbon. Normally I always ask my bartender Donald to make some killer cocktails for in the smoky books, but unfortunately Donald had to be in Martinique shaking his teacup competition and is not here with me in the snow. Now I don't know anything about cocktails, so shaking, no clue. But I think I found a solution to make this eggnog super foamy without all the hassle, because I'm lacking these muscles. Well, let's show you. You're in trouble. So, eggnog, super frothy, snowmobile style. If you don't have a snowmobile, read your book and then uh, we'll show you how to make it with the shaker as well, okay? We had an amazing morning, truly adventurous here in Kusamo, discovering the area by snowmobile. But boy, does that make you hungry plowing through those snow piles. Luckily, I have a finished delicacy. It is the uh, Sinan Lenki, and we're going to be looking for a uh, kota so we can light a fire. And since we ran out of fuel, we're changing rides. Check out these guys. I need my sausages. After racing and rolling over in the buggies, we found a nice kota to grill the Sinanenki. Have some beers and call it a day. After all, tomorrow we'd be busy cooking. This morning we started off with a reindeer roll and some pulla, which are the coffee cakes, together with obviously some coffee for breakfast. And with Mati Urtia we discussed the items that we're going to be making, so now it's time to do some groceries. Hey, we got most of the ingredients and local fish, but we missed an important part of our groceries. So, Mati brought us to a butcher called Arctic Kebab, where we could buy reindeer meat, some moose, and something we even haven't tried before. Bear <laughs> Sure? Yes. 
Very expensive tea. How much is it? 315 euros. Very expensive meat. <laughs> it's a bear meat. What kind of bear is it? Uh, brown bear. Brown bear. Yes. Okay. Is it delicious? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. This is not what we're actually looking for. All the groceries are in the truck. We got the important stuff, also the yellow vina, local brandy we're gonna be basing some salmon with. So it's time to pick up the grill and get some cooking going. Driving in the snow is a mindset. There is no snow. Too far. The first day, we found a really magical place where we would be cooking. But when we returned at the nearby parking lot to hike into the woods with all the grills, cast iron equipment and ingredients, the weather changed. We hiked through the forest with all the gear, but all we could see was snow. We missed a turn and got lost. After slipping and sliding through the snow for an hour, we finally reached our spot. An old water mill next to a river with some very nice rapids. We lost a lot of time plowing through that snow, so we had to hurry and light our fires before it would get dark. We started with a winter snack platter, made of grilled sausages and homemade sauces. We photographed dishes in the old water mill, where the lighting through the frozen windows was amazing. After the appetizers and sauces, we made some blinis, Russian pancakes, and smoked up a salmon in the smoker we put up next to the river. But because of the heat, the snow melted underneath and our smoker fell down into the river. Luckily we could save the smoker and fish and made a killer dish out of it. Across the river, Mati was preparing some small fish, known as Kitkan Fizas. We added some brown sugar and lemon to spice up the flavors. But of course, it wouldn't be smoky goodness if we wouldn't baconize the shit out of these little fishes. Because the night was setting in, we hauled the barbecue, while it was still smoldering, across the frozen and slippery bridge. This so we could finish the last recipe of today. The last dish we did that day was a fiery fish, an arctic salmon roasted along the fire where we glazed it with some honey and yellow vina. That's our first day of cooking. We uh, had to haul ass to get here. It was a bit of a challenging track, but we got to this beautiful spot in the north of Finland, Kusomo area, and uh, we cooked up a storm because we did the first few dishes for the winter barbecue book. Exhausted, we warmed up and rested at the campfire because the next day we would do something extreme. Come to Finland, they say. Come and do dog sled riding, they say. And all of a sudden the plan changes and uh, we're gonna do something with this reindeer. Now it's not Stig here next to me. No, this is the world champion reindeer racing, Marco Kilpivara. He's gonna teach me and then I'm gonna tie on some skis, which I haven't done in 20 years. And they're gonna hang me behind this uh, cute little animal and they promised me it's a tame, gentle reindeer. Let's see. <laughs> 
after this crazy experience, Jenny and Yuha of the Kujalan Porotia Kujala reindeer farm invited us to witness something unique. When the night was falling in, it was feeding time for the reindeer at their farm. With a sleigh full of feed, we went into the field. With hundreds of reindeer following us, we created a shaped line of reindeer, and what we saw from the sky was breathtaking. Today is the last full day we have in Finland, so everything is about cooking for the pictures of the Smoky Goodness Part 4 book. Uh, winter barbecue, of course, you can see it around us. And we've been cooking in various dishes. We just completed the vegetable course. And I have to tell you, in this surroundings, that's very challenging. Because anything, like a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, freezes instantly. So we had to work with four people at the same time to really crank out those dishes. Behind me, you can see the reindeer roasting. So that's going to be for the big chapter with the big meats. And right now, Rokus is prepping the bear. So we bought the bear a few days back. Uh, very delicate meat. Well, not so delicate, but delicate in the wallet. So it's a very expensive uh, piece of meat and it's the first time we're cooking it. So we're really excited and very curious about the taste of things. So we're going to be making some guinea fowl legs and we made our own rub for it and it's full of wintry flavors. So there's star anise in there, pimento seeds, and we crushed some red berries and everything is in there giving it a burst of wintry flavors. We have a reindeer liver, a reindeer heart, made sashimi with cranberry and Jägermeister and a smoked reindeer dung. Done. With the first recipes coming out great, we were on a roll and kicked it up a notch. Flush puppy. Mm. At the end of the long day, we created 11 recipes for the book, and when the night was falling in, it was time to pack up and get ready for the last day. With all the cooking and adventure we had the past few days, it was time to try and catch our own food in this frozen land. There's fish underneath my feet. Fish! The northern wind had picked up quite a bit, resulting in feeling temperatures of minus 40 degrees. Ideal circumstances for some serious ice fishing, Ruka Kusomo style. After sitting there for a long time trying to dodge the wind, I didn't catch anything. Luckily, our guide Kai was kind enough to borrow me his catch, which had frozen to death instantly outside of the water. With a little bit of Photoshop enhancement, the picture came out great. After the freezing cold on the lake, we warmed up with some coffee and yellow vina liquor alongside a fire in a kota. Once warmed up, in and out, we were ready to prepare our last shots of this trip. You just witnessed the fastest photo shoot of a dish that we ever did. And that's great because these guys look so good. Oh. 
Time to eat. We are on our way for the final shoot and it's the most important picture because it's for the cover. And we came up with this brilliant idea of looking for an ice wall and we thought there would be plenty around but it was quite a challenge to find one. But we did manage to get one and we're on our way there and we'll have to find out and see if it works. While making the cover photo, the fish kept on freezing. To make them look nice and smoky, we had to defrost them with a torch in between shots. And boy, what an epic picture is this! After the cover photo was made, the guys thought it would be fun if I'd smash my head in the snow to look like a frosted snowman. So I did. Je hebt stoel kijken, je bent een koude. Ja, kijk die wimpers, maar dit is hem. For us, the Finland trip is over. We have been blown away by the friendly people of Lapland who have helped us discover both the adventures like snowmobile as well as their culinary skill set. They are true masters of outdoor cooking and we have gained some insights into those beautiful techniques. I'm gonna be writing about it in the book, but this video has given you a nice preview of all the beautiful things to come. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. A kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the queen. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried. Don't let them in, don't let them see Be the good girl you always have to be Conceal, don't feel, don't let them know Well now they know Let it go, let it go Can't hold it back anymore Let it go, let it go Turn away and slam the door I don't care what they're going to say Let the storm rage on Gold never bothered me anyway Funny how some distance makes everything seem small the fear that wants to control <laughs> me can get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do to test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. Let it go, let it go. I'm one with the wind and sky. Let it go. Let it go, you'll never see me cry Here I stand, and here I stay Let the storm rage on Power flurries through the air into the ground my soul is spiraling in frozen fractals all around. And one thought crystallizes like an icy blast. I'm never going back. The past is in the past. Let it go. Let it go. And I'll rise the break of dawn. Let it go, let it go, that perfect girl is gone. Here I stand in the light of day. Let 
the storm rage on. Gold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> 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 <laughs>